Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, the DRE. Anyways, uh, let me know if you know that reference to what's going on in the video right now. Anyways, we're here in the jungle, testing the camera, see how it works. We might or might not be on a little bit of substance called alcohol, which God created for us to uh, get through the day and get through enormous amounts of pain, which we might or might not be in because we refuse to give up and want to keep on going. And so what we're doing here, generally I go down the path. Everyone else on these this path right here follows the path up to the top of the mountain. And I go down the mountain because that is where the runoff goes as where all the debris builds up and that is where the mushrooms may be growing and we're after mushrooms some days but today I'm maybe I'm too drunk and I'm like we're gonna go up so we're gonna go up let's see if this works gotta use my nose here because the awesome Carhartt gloves I have which are awesome protection against jungle and all that stuff. And, um, especially when I'm swinging my blades into thorns. Like, kind of sucks when the back of my hands are getting ripped open by thorns. Uh, we're using these and I can't touch the screen. So I'm going to have to use my nose as a way to interact with my touch screen. Oh, double touched it. There we go. Looks like there's some sort of rain or runoff here that's occurred before. And um, maybe it was a pathway, but there's definitely going to be rain drainage. Whether this was a pathway or this is just nature's design, we're going to go through here. We got the trusty path clearers for when the path gets hard. If it does, it doesn't look very hard right now. It looks like it's the actual path. We can use a, they generally use like ski poles or something to climb through here, but I got the blades so I can climb through here. We got a little bit of debris in the way already. Not really, I could just walk through that, but don't need to walk through it now. I generally don't like clearing the first few feet of a path. Like this right here is great cover for something like this area right here. Even though there's a lot of spiders in here. I'm seeing some spider webs for the first time. It's been so cold and so wet. I guess I didn't even think there was spiders out here before this. If I walk through this rather than clearing it, no one else will know this path exists. But there's a problem I'm experiencing here. I'm going to experience the soil is not soil. This is sediment. And there's soil deep below the sediment. This is about two to four inches thick sediment here. And in some places, this might be like a foot deep sediment. And therefore, when I go to push my foot into here, the blade or my foot might easily sink a foot into the ground. You can see right there, that was really easy. It's not supposed to be that easy to put a machete with an end like that into the ground. It should be pretty hard if it's solid ground, but it's not, so I'm going to clear this even though this now shows the pathway. The pathway's already up there, and then it looks like it ends right here. But now it's going to look like it keeps continuing, even though I don't want it to, because I cannot trust this ground right here. I need to be able to see what I'm doing and where I'm going. Ow, fuck my eye. Fuck, dude. 
Uh, I didn't say fuck, right? Um, I'm talking about the the uh, skateboarding company. You know, F-U-C-T. Fuck. It's a good skateboarding company. Um, I was not being, you know, belligerent. Or I was not cursing. That was simply, you know, this is this video is for the children. Fucked is a good skateboard company, right? F-U-C-T, it's always the best. One of the best in the business. So from here, we're going to move forward. And again, right here, we're experiencing something. I don't want to clear this. I want to leave this here. So what I can do is I can look for an alternative option. I want to look like no one's ever came out here. You guys think I can chop that? Let's see. Not quite, right? Not just yet. After a couple chops, I will get through that. But I'm not even going to mess with that right now. Videos I may or may not have uploaded have shown me clearing through entire trees with the, with one blade. Today, I have both blades out. So let's just try to advance over this. So what I'm going to do, because it's such a high thing and it's a, it's a slope, I'm going to use the blade to insert. As long as I don't cut my leg off, I'm going to use a blade the stability, insert it into the wood, and climb over this biatch, and then of course this wood right here, this is how I will climb over this, whether, it's a, whether it is a slope or not, I will insert my blades like this into the wood to try to climb over it, because it could be slippery. And I don't want to slip off this. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, see, exactly. Even with, even with my blades in here. I'm not getting exactly where I want to. Um, so, just try this again. I'm going to step up higher. I'm going to stretch my legs which might not be so hard normally because I'm so flexible, but I stretched a lot yesterday, so my legs are probably sore. So I'm gonna rest my legs a second here. Ah, my back did not like that. Your back would be fine, but my back is not like that. So, here we go, further into the jungle. I'm sure it doesn't look like anyone has ever traveled this path before now, right? That looks like it could have been a path in the past. And even, it's still a path, technically. I just made it look more like a path. Over there we have some tree roots showing. And you may not may or may not be able to see from this distance there's something white growing over there where that tree is growing into the dirt so that would be a perfect place for some mushrooms to grow they require light for certain periods of the day and that's about it they grow a little bit differently other plants flourish in the light they for a little bit of light hours. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound uh, a little bit intoxicated in recent videos, but I um, I'm in a lot of pain right now. So I'm doing a lot of things to cover that up. 
And unfortunately, marijuana, if it's pain relieving, puts you to sleep. And I'm getting sick of sleeping all day long. I don't see the point to living if I'm sleeping all day long. So, I will pull out my medication here soon. So you should be a lot more careful than me and not, not get drunk. Don't do this, kids, but I'm using this as medication. Again, I'm in severe pain. I just don't feel it right now. And <laughs> granted, well, there's a good chance I'm really going to feel it, especially when I lose grip and I stumble down at six feet and I have to catch myself in some weird, crazy way. I'll feel that in about two hours. So I didn't bring any extra alcohol with me. I don't know why. I have the, I bought the travel flask to bring with me. So it's a matter of my life is constantly changing and I'm having to spend six hours a day reorganizing everything I own. You guys might remember last year um, or a year and a half ago, I was posting drumming videos every day, especially on the Facebook. And that was barely any of the drumming I did. I was in a basement posting drumming videos. And today I'm in like a deciduous jungle chopping shit down. Sheep down, sheep, chopping sheep down, right? With a jungle chopper, otherwise known as a machete. That is pretty thick, so we're gonna just have to swing a little bit harder. And there it goes. This is very fun. You wanna know the truth? This is some of the best martial arts training I've had. My master might have taught me how to swing blades. And I might have learned that. And to be honest, it might have really helped where I'm at now in my ability and strength training. But this is a totally different situation out here. I am actually learning what it takes to use a blade as opposed to just the motions in the blade. And there we have it. We're through the one foot of bush. And now we're on to the third foot of bush. I guess we'll go this way. It looks a little unclouded. Let's try to break half of this. If we weren't on a slope, I would just step on that to break it, but that's kind of a dumb idea. So let's try this. Well, moved it out of the way only halfway. Destroyed it. Took that out. Took that out. Did not take that out. Let's see if I can take this out. Oh, whoa, we're reaching on ground that only looks solid. Okay, gotta watch out for that. Very deceptive when you got leaves covering a pit. Let's see if I can take this out right here, though. Pia, took that out, didn't I? Pia, took that out. Sorry, if I had a cameraman, we could get better angles. We could see the actual chopping occur, but I have to use my hip to get into most of this. In fact, I should leave a couple of those there for other people who do not have machetes if they wish to come this way. And again, we're going to use machetes as leverage to get up and I stepped the other way last time so this time I'm stepping the other way and you guys can't see any of this stuff I'm explaining because I don't have a camera 
I'd have to find someone crazy enough to do this stuff with me in order to be a cameraman. I found a woman with the camera. But she said she didn't want to do this stuff. That is understandable. She didn't understand the first bit of what I was asking her to do. She understood I was asking her to hold a camera. Not, I was asking her to clear paths in the jungle with me. Pia! So, we're gonna try this. I don't think this blade's in far enough. I'm gonna have to stick this in further. Yeah. Not in far enough. Yeah. Not in far enough, but we're gonna go in. I'm tired of trying. So, yeah. In fact, that was in really good. That was hard to pull out. You know, it wasn't far. So it looks like there's a path here, or been a path here at some point. That doesn't necessarily mean there's been a path. That could mean that... There's just water run down. Water run off. But, which came first, the chicken or the egg, right? Did the people create the path? Or did the water create the path that I am now, that the people are now creating? I think a lot of times these are probably just paths that someone else created a long, long time ago. And we are now re clearing them. As always, if you use blades, do not swing them towards yourself. That is the main rule of using a blade is avoid yourself because when you come down that blade goes somewhere that blade goes down like this your legs right there okay and if the blade goes down like this your arms right there and if the blade goes like this you're safe because you're pretty much hitting your arm with the blade with your hand and the hilt of the blade so, these are the importance of blade handling. The first rule that probably no one ever actually teaches is do not cut yourself. That is, in holding blades, the main thing I've learned is the most important skill is you can swing the blade however you want. But, but what you don't do is you do not swing it in a direction that your body is anywhere near. Even if you think you're about to hit something right here and your leg is back here five feet, you do not do that. You go outwards or you whichever direction you want. You do not go towards that leg unless you want to get the scare of a life or the trip of a hospital trip to the hospital of your life. So, the importance of a lot of, a, a lot of things, people often skip the basics in martial arts. They don't often, in boxing, they don't often teach you how important that fist is and the fact that the fist is two separate striking points and it is not one solid striking point. There's a lot of very basic things we overlook in, in sword play and playing with knives. One of the most important things is never have that blade facing anywhere near your body. This tree right here is kind of rotten. This stump is not a stump at all. This is a freaking tree that fell over. And so I can get pretty good grip in this, but the problem, I can get pretty deep in this, but the problem is, I cannot actually get, get, get good grip. Yes, I can. I just have to put it in really far. So let's climb up over this, and I don't feel that is safe enough to do anything with. So I'm going to put it in over here. And I still don't feel that is safe enough. And that's not because I chopped the other half, but I have this other side over here 
This is pretty safe. This is pretty solid. Unless I keep playing with it and loosening it up. There we go. Now we're up. And now we're down. Once you learn how to do ow, that hurts when my tripod is swinging from my backpack and smashing my knuckles, even though my knuckles have this severe protection right there. That is still not the coolest feeling. Again, to properly swing, I'm using my hips, so the camera's like way out there and you guys aren't even seeing the cool stuff. I need a cameraman. Camera woman. I kind of prefer it when you want to. Fine. Until the right prospect comes along, he's willing to partake in such an event. It is just me. And you're gonna have to live with that. Maybe one day when I'm out here in the middle of the jungle, completely alone, I'll find a partner who is similar to me, doing the same stuff I am. Maybe one day I'll find a person these days who is compatible with me. Fuck. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with I, I Fuck. Skateboarding is awesome, dude. Best company ever. Okay, we have this right here. What should I do with this? Should I take this down? There we go. One good Muay Thai front kick and that limb is gone. So, who would have thought Muay Thai would help so much in the middle of the jungle, right? Let's go. Should we go up this? Should we go this way and create a path over that way where it looks like a natural path might have been a hundred years ago? Or who knows? It might only take a few years for this stuff to grow over. Or should we go up this way, which looks easier? Obviously, I mean, there's this other way over here that would look even easier if we didn't have this holly tree with its bladed leaves, thorny leaves. Not so much blades, I guess, but it will act similar to blades if I get near that. So we're not going that way. We're going to go either this way or this way. And it really looks like this way was the way in the past. So we're going to cut through here. As long as that freaking tripod quits smacking the back of my elbow like it's a hammer, we will get through this pretty fast for once. You can kind of get at this. A little too good. Maybe I'm spending too much time doing this. Yeah, yeah. Make some cool Bruce Lee sound effects. Just for the camera, right? I actually, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't believe in, in all that breathing and sound effects techniques because when I accelerate to high speeds, I cannot breathe that fast. I cannot, I'd be hyperventilated and not be able to breathe as fast as I can strike. So, when they say you gotta make these noises and stuff, and breathe properly. You know what they're saying is, freaking control your breathing and it's got nothing to do. If I'm striking, hold up, let me clear this out because this is a deception. There is a lot of... a lot of 
cooking stuff in the way here. And it's really not solid ground. In fact, I don't think this is either, but I think it's my best option of climbing up over here. Yeah, yeah. So the breathing stuff where you exhale on every move, you're like, ha, ha, ha. Once you start going, that's cute to make sound effects like that. To go, but it's not like very efficient. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe I need to master the breathing so I can go. <laughs> but in all honesty, that just sounds and feels like wasted effort. So when I'm adding sound effects here, it's mostly because a movie told me to. Standard martial arts told me to. And I do not operate as slowly as standard martial arts, so that breathing pattern does not benefit me very well. Maybe, maybe I can incorporate that someday and I'll get even stronger than I am now. You know, I always have hope for that. Like that's always a really cool idea that I'm going to get even stronger than I've been before once I learn to master breathing. But for now, I'm going to try to climb this. I'm going to place the blade deep in this tree. And the other blade deep in the other side. And we're going to use that to pull ourselves up. On the way down, that will... It's a little lower ground. Um, I'll jump down. And that will... If you have some sort of issues like I do, like broken bones, twisted bones, maybe um, that will cause you some issues if you try to replicate that at home. And I, all my videos should go without warning. Do not do anything I do. Do not try this at home. When I am punching freaking metal poles, I am not suggesting that is how you get powerful. You need to learn to punch pudding and bags of water and withstand that long before you think you can punch a pole. And unless your brain just naturally and body can just naturally start doing it. Don't let me get in the way, but don't blame me. When you do some stupid stuff that I do, and it makes you messed up like I am, right? <sighs> or even worse than I. Just whatever, legal disclaimer, blah, 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 blah. If you try to sue me, I'll send someone after your ass. Fucking put it that way, right? Go ahead, try to sue me. See what happens. I should make that disclaimer from now on. Go ahead and try to sue me for copying me. If you think, if you're as crazy enough as I am to think you can do what I do, then you, sir, I have a, I, I'll go buy a medal to give you. You have, it'd be called, we'll call it the Charlie Manson Award. And everyone who, exceeds the previous year's winner can get that award and uh you know go ahead and sue me man whatever you come out here and you do this stuff you blame it on me you're gonna need some money to help you through life if you're gonna blame everything on me whatever you shouldn't be watching my videos if you're gonna blame everything you do on me I'm always telling you to think for yourself, right? That's half the purpose of this channel, is to tell you to question what's going on and to think for yourself. So when you see some some genius walking through the forest here with some machetes, clearing his own path, jumping around, sounding like he might be drunk, 
you know, that that's on you to, to make a logical decision about where that leads you in life, right? <sighs> ah. What, who is this even benefiting? This is going to benefit no one but me. No one's even going to know this trail exists. No one's even going to attempt to climb this way. This trail doesn't exist. I'm making this trail exist. To be a trailblazer, one thing you got to do is stop blaming other people. So if you've gotten this far, you might as well not blame me. Or if you fall and break a leg. If you accidentally chop off half your leg with a machete. Look, do not wield these things unless you're a master swordsman. Unless you've been trained by professionals. I tell you right now, do not wield this. This is a deadly freaking weapon. That's the point of it. That's why I have them, right? Because it's a, it's a self-defense tool. But I just happen to practice out here. You know, I started being able to legit use them when I went to Antifa events in Portland. And I was like, that's interesting. I can, like, now do this. I can now be me. In the standard city, these things might get you some bad attention that you don't want. But here I am in the jungle, exactly where they need to be, Right? So don't do anything I do. Be yourself. The dumb things I do should be lessons to the rest of the world and what not to do. <clears throat> and of course I have to say all this stuff because legal ramifications, I might get sued or something. One of you might like buy some machetes walk out into a jungle on a snake, a cobra bites you and you start dying of venom, or you chop your head off with a machete, and then people are like, oh look, he was watching Sean Jones' video, that's where he got that idea, and then your family sues me. It might not even be you, right? I've had this happen. I was, I was in jail once and they were like, his family's gonna sue you. And I'm like, Jesus, Fred, this is like worse than a movie, isn't it? <laughs> His family's going to sue me. Right. Right. And you know what happened to his family, right? I got to tell you the truth. I drove around his family's house for about a year. So maybe, maybe your family should see that video too before they think of doing some dumb shit like blaming me for what happens in your life. You're going to do whatever you do. People are going to die, supposedly. People are going to have accidents. Important thing is we don't try to waste our time suing everyone for some dumb stuff we do. I think that's really the, the key here to, to all that stuff. I think that tree over there is like calling my name. What, what do you guys think? That one that's halfway cut down? I don't think that's cut down at all. I think that's completely just broken and fallen. It doesn't look like anyone's come out here to cut anything down in a few hundred years. That could be an illusion. It could only be like 20, 30 years. And, you know, it could only be a few years since someone came out here to cut stuff down, you know. I don't know the rate at which these plants grow. They look like they probably grow pretty fast because they're pretty skimpy. And uh, that would mean that they work on growing out rather than growing sturdy. But it looks like it might have been a while since someone's been out here. Right? That call me crazy, but it looks like no one's been out here in a while. Here we are with the holly tree. See, uh, I always find thickets and holly 
stuff like that interesting because they're like some sort of defense type plant. But at the same time, I swear when I break through thickets and, and stuff that I find like like hidden things, like stuff hidden in the world. Like, oh look, just break through this thicket and you'll find this this old area people used to travel in. But the thicket is there and people are like, oh no, I'm not walking through that because I'll never get out of that. I don't even know where to go from here, to be honest, because this really does not look like anyone has traveled this area. I went the wrong way, too. If I'm going to go mushroom foraging, I probably want to head south towards the bottom where I normally go. But right now, you know, actually, I just um, I cleared the path up here to take a dump. And all that work was just so I could use the bathroom. Um, so I will probably cut the video off here and maybe for now I will call the travel up the hill a done deed and maybe I should deal with this and head back down there back to the actual trail and then I will I have a path I begin to create that is uh, going down the hill it pretty much leads to a cliff where we're going to have to jump off and then continue the path from there and then that means we're going to have to clear a whole new path around the mountain back up because I do not have rock climbing gear. And even if I did, I don't think rock climbing gear climbs up soil ledges. I think the second I throw a rappelling hook or grappling hook into soil, it just comes flying back down at my face and then the video's over, my life's over. <sighs> So, for now, I'm going to shut this off, and we're going to, we're going to um, do nature's duty and restore energy to the earth. And then I might turn the camera back on, and maybe I'll just wait till we get back down there, and then I'll turn the camera back on once I get back to the path that I spent some time clearing before, if I can find it, because I hide these things so well that even I can't find them, which is good. That's the point of it, right? This one I didn't hide so well, but I don't think many people are gonna just walk up the steep slope like that. Many of them have like uh, those tools that, oopsie, drop that way down there. Many of these people have tools that, um, like, um, skiers use, right? What are those called? Ski poles? Supposedly, it looks like there's like, oh shit, fuck, dude. There's like mountain, that fuck, is an awesome skateboarding company. I swear, man. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know how to slide around like this, right? <laughs> oh my god, that is like a stick in my freaking side, dude. That does not feel good. I'm gonna have to chop that down before I move on. There we go. Good thing that was like really dried out because I didn't hit that hard enough to actually chop it. Fire! Fire! Here we go. Okay, so, yeah. Whatever I was saying before, the accident occurred there. Again, you know, don't try this at home unless you just don't care about anything, right? And if this is your home anyways, 
He's like, you're probably better at it than me. So how the hell are you gonna try it at home, right? Look, don't go get lost in the woods 3,000 miles away from where you live and do stuff like this and blame it on me. Look over there, there's a mushroom. It's halfway rotted, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's on that tree stump at the bottom of the mossy area. But that is telling us that this is the type of environment that a mushroom